Lord, everybody. Welcome so much to be here tonight. My name is David, so I'm now going to save our senior. You must be the most committed people supporting the senior tonight, right? Because you all wouldn't be out here in the middle of this COVID thing when you back up. Thank you so much for matching up, even if you are in back. How many of you have backed up? Speak your hand. Yeah, that's quite a bit. That's quite a lot of people. Or maybe some of you came out here because you're sick and tired of being stuck at home and not going to go down in the way you did it. How many of you cannot wait to get out of here and kind of boogie down so you can do the go over? How many of you? I know you like speeches more, but let's see you raise your hand. Okay. First, we have a request for everyone tonight, including our speakers. By the time this evening's over, we want everyone here to sign the petition. Prepare by Tracy Mabura, our co chair for Save Our Seniors. Tracy, you raise your hand, please, because she isn't that nice to pass our way. In this petition, it demands the Pacific Company, the people who are kicking out our seniors from the uh, nursing home. Stop forcing people out to guarantee that they can stay at such a lot of living. It's a different building, but it's still on the same Royal Heights campus, where they can get bilingual care, Japanese food, and recreational activities, and religious services. It's the only place in Southern California that has that capacity. This way, even if AB 379 does not win, some of the ICF residents can remain together and a real family council can be rebuilt. SOS, the Sakura ICF Family Council, has been publicly demanding this for over a month now. Now, uh, of course, if AB 279 wins, it will stop all the evictions and restore the original conditions of sale, which will ensure that the residents get at least another year and will continue getting bilingual care. A Senate floor vote may happen in mid August, yeah. very soon, yeah. or even later in the year, and we're consciously optimistic and working hard to get the 27 votes of the state senators. Be sure you visit the AB 279 table before you leave. Now, meanwhile, the situation at the Sakura Intermediate Facility is at a critical stage. It's difficult to have success in driving out many of the approximately 90 seniors who were there in February. How have they done this? Since the conditions of sales expired in February, unfortunate coincidences have occurred at the ICF. A senior health has declined fast. A few seniors lost weight when they refused to eat and did not speak out about what they thought was substandard Japanese food. Pacifica was cited not having enough nutrition in their serving slavery July. The water and hot water system failed, and some could not pay for a few weeks. Pacifica was cited for failing to maintain it. Pacifica was in such a rush to evict, they gave improper exit assessments. This resulted in another citation, and extending the eviction date 60 days more. Most recently, they illegally threatened residents by telling people that after the clear out date of August 23rd, only county staff will be available for your loved one. In other words, there ain't gonna be no care there. Pacifico was cited again for that. Bluetooth disconnected. Since the fall of 2020, Pacifica claimed they were working on a waiver to allow current residents on Medi-Cal, that's low income, to be able to get into the Sakura assisted living facility. But it turns out they were lying all along and only submitted a finished application at the end of July. And they had the nerve to impose an August 10th deadline on the residents to pressure them into getting out of the ICF before AB 279 has a chance to pass. All of these citations are only a slap on the wrist. Pacifica just has to come up with plans to correct them. The nursing home lobby has so much influence over the Department of Public Health and legislation that the lead lobbyist simply calls up leaders in the health department and consult and give them ideas for how to handle problems like the pandemic, according to the Sacramento Bee. The California Department of Health is the main and only opponents 
of AB 279, carrying the water for the nursing home industry. So we will ask our guests Bluetooth to sign on to the petition or to write letters of support. And we will ask you to join us on Friday, August 13th, to deliver this petition to Pacifica managers at 6 p.m. The spirit of the residents and their families to resist the evictions and fight back has been remarkable, and we're really proud of them. They certainly haven't been the stereotypes of elderly Asians as submissive and docile like they portray on TV. These old Asian people have fought back and continue to do so against corporate anti-Asian violence of the worst type. We join many African-American senior advocates in Georgia and people of color in the nation who are also fighting to get answers about why so many people of color Bluetooth died in nursing connected. homes and continue to die. JAs have the highest rates of people over 65. So our elder care is our number one health issue as Japanese Americans and Japanese. Bluetooth disconnected. But despite their courage, the ability to continue resisting depends on the health of the 80, 90, and 100 year olds not on the will of the family members to fight on. Imagine if you visited your mom, dad, bachan, or jichan, and each time you see them, you can see the stress on their faces. Each time you see them, they're less coherent, or they're losing weight, or their balance seems worse. Even though you may really want to continue, you'll feel horrible to see your loved ones decline like that, and you have to move them out. It's not an example of the lack of wanting to fight on, not at all but rather an example of concern for our loved one's health, rising above the ability to stay in the ICF. That is why the leaders of the Family Council are here with us today and remain dedicated, even if they had to move their loved ones out. And you'll see them later on. So again, please sign the petition once we all sign it up here, and then we'll lower it to the dance floor. And please join us on Friday, August 13th at 6 p.m. at the ICF, for what could be our final attempt to stop the evictions before the vote on AB 279. Thank you so very much. And now, thank you. And now it's my honor and pleasure to introduce a staunch ally, um, an award-winning actress, activist for our community, for causes that range from food programs to Feed Little Tokyo to Nisei Week Coronations, and being a spokesperson for Save Our Seniors. Our own one and only badass J.A. Okinawa Pinoy sister, and she don't look too bad either. Tamlin Tomita, give it up for Tamlin. Thank you, David, thank you very much. Um, uh, uh, badass Okinawan Japanese Pinoy sister, thank you so very much, but I am just a brother, I mean a, a sister, of our Japanese American community, and it is my pleasure to host this event together um, in saving our seniors and celebrating the Kansha Obon. Obon is this is the season of Obon season. So Japanese and Japanese Americans and lovers of Japanese American culture gather together to honor our ancestors, our legacy as to where we come from. And I have the honor of introducing our speaker because he is on a super tight schedule, and we are sad but so overjoyed in losing him to the country of India as the recent nominee from President Biden to serve as ambassador to India. But he is one of our shining sons of this city of Los Angeles, the son of Gil Garcetti, as I was the, father, as I was the daughter of a Los Angeles police officer, Shiro Chimita. We are children of this city, and we know what it means to take care of our elders, to take care of our peers, as well as take care of our children. It is my pleasure to introduce to you the mayor of El Pueblo de Los Angeles, Mayor Eric Garcetti. Virtual COVID hug to you. Thank you, Tamlin, so much. Give it up for Tamlin, our amazing, not only MC, an amazing creative spirit, an amazing advocate. Thank you, David, for your words. And let us make sure that as we commemorate um, our seniors, that we fight for them too. Because it is not a passive action, it is one that's active. And anything that we can do to add the city of LA's voice to this at the state level, and we have an amazing champion a fighter unlike any that I've ever met, our state senator, Marilena Durazo, who will come up here in a moment. I know she's an ally in this work too. But to make sure that our seniors 
and stay in the homes they are. Bluetooth Thank you for connected. your advocacy. This is a beautiful day to be in Little Tokyo for the Obon Festival. Watashi wa erigatsuki des, konbanwa. I was going to start with this. We've all been our eyes on, on uh, Tokyo and the Olympics. Uh, as a high school student, I first went to Japan um, to be an exchange student at Tamagawa Gakuen, a school that is uh, between Yokohama and Los Angeles. And ever since, my Japanese host family and I have kept close in touch, and I've always seen the close ties between not only Los Angeles and Japan, but more importantly, the Japanese Americans that were here and have been here. My family was part of making Manzanar a monument. Um, and also, my mother recently told me about taking in a young Japanese American girl when her parents were interned uh, in their homes, a story I had never heard before. As somebody who today may be a senior Bluetooth in a place like what we see here that we are fighting for. So as we celebrate culture and community, Bluetooth I have to connected. say for the last, uh, uh, my, I don't know, that's not my phone, Bluetooth, so don't worry. <laughs> but Bluetooth is connecting and, and disconnecting. But to our hosts and our volunteers, to Sakura Gardens Family Council, to save our seniors network, thank you for proving you are angels in the city of angels. I know Jan Perry, our former councilwoman, is here and somebody who fought for the little Tokyo community and the Japanese American community for so many years um, when we were both in the city council. But I'm especially glad to be with so many seniors after this year. And I'm proud that we are a city that fought for our seniors, the first city to mandate testing in our senior care facilities, the first city to make sure that that was published uh, publicly so that families could come in and workers could be protected and our seniors' lives could be saved when we saw everything that was taking our loved ones. And I promise you Los Angeles will be the first city in this country to give boosters to our seniors as soon as they are authorized to make sure, for some of us, our memory cells will defend us, but if you're a senior, you may lose your life before, and we will continue. This pandemic was so hard for all of us, but especially for our seniors. It's why we mobilized over 12,000 meals to deliver to our homebound seniors, and why we worked so hard to get our vaccines to our older uh, Angelinos. And anybody who is not, please, please get vaccinated. It will keep you from dying. I had to talk to a widower today of a, a police officer who died. She died just two days ago. This is real, and this is taking our lives. But on a happier note, Omarigato gozaimashita. Thank you for the opportunity to represent you for these eight years. When I had the invitation to come here in Little Tokyo, I wanted to not only pay respect to our seniors, but to this amazing community. And somebody recently told me with a decision I was making, yeah, you, you're doing that now, but you're not even gonna be here. I said, no, I'm gonna be worse. In two years, I'm gonna be not your mayor, I'm gonna be a constituent and a taxpayer. So I will always be an Angelino. I look forward to representing our country of confirmed um, in Asia, but I look forward to us coming back here too and being a part of the life. Little Tokyo, whether it was the work that we did to create outdoor dining or the work that we're doing now to protect our seniors, this is the heart of the heart of LA. I got my stop sign, so I'm gonna stop. Thank you all very much. Have a wonderful Obon Festival. Thank you, God bless. The mayor is signing the petition and is the first signature, the petition to the Pacifica companies to stop the eviction of our beloved seniors. Thank you so very much, Mr. Mayor. Good luck. And people, I just heard this bit of trivia from uh, about the mayor, that when he was a councilman, a young councilman of uh, CD13, that he showed off his karaoke skills. He can carry a tune. So. When you come back to LA after your stint in India, please know that you're welcome to the Obon Festivals to dance, but we all want to hear you sing. All righty. Thank you so very much. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a round of applause to our mayor, Eric Garcetti. Woo! Uh, we had a little change in the schedule, but I just want to acknowledge that this is the Kansha Obon and that two months ago, we held our very first Kancha Obon. And it was a gathering of hope and gratitude to express our deep appreciation for all of those who have made invaluable contributions to supporting this fight, this very fight for our residents and the families of Sakura Intermediate Care Facility located at the historic neighborhood of Boyle Heights. 325 South Boyle Avenue campus in Boyle Heights. And at that event, in the hot summer sun, we commemorated the then 123 seniors residing at Pacific Companies-owned KI Los Angeles and KI South Bay.
who passed due to COVID-19. And sadly, we have lost two more since then. But tonight, we gather again in their memory to commemorate their lives, to once again express our gratitude to all who have supported their cause. So let us gather together in joy and in Obon Odori. Before we get to Obon Odori, Obon Odori is what? What is Obon? Obon is a Buddhist tradition that is celebrated by not only Japanese and Japanese Americans, but by all persons who beloved, who love this Japanese culture in honoring our ancestors. And Bon Odori is the traditional Japanese dancing you may have seen performed in the streets, down the street, up that street, and down Second Street. At summertime Obon festivals, especially the Nisei Week Festival, here at Buddhist temples across not only here, Southern California, but across this nation of the USA. And in, of course, of course, in Japan as well. But when we celebrate Obon, we celebrate our ancestors' spirits and send them off again with joy and gratitude. And tonight we honor those who have passed and rededicate each and every one of ourselves to continue the fight for the living. And before we get to Obon Odori, we welcome to the stage some very special guests who will speak, educate, entertain. So hold on to your hoppy coats, your tanugui, your hachimaki, and your uchiwas and your sensu. And our first speaker will be speaking on behalf of the Sakura ICF Family Council. The Family Council was formed this winter by family members as a united voice against the callous and life-threatening evictions of our beloved seniors. Representing the Sakura ICF Family Council is Dr. Ken Saku Nakayama, who will be joined on stage by former Family Council members, including Francine Imai, Carrie Horie Addison, and other family members. Please welcome Dr. Kensaku Nakayama. Bluetooth disconnected. Bluetooth Hello, connected. everybody. Thanks for joining us today for this special occasion. Um, I have uh, here in front of me, or rather in front of you with me today, uh, other family members of the Sakura ICF residences. Uh, there were about 80, fam 80 sorry, residences living there about in late December of last year. And now that number has, de uh, has declined to last count seven. So all of these seniors have now been relocated uh, evicted, you can call it what you want, but uh, they are no longer, for the most part, receiving uh, a culturally sensitive uh, Japanese language based care, unfortunately, at their new facilities. So, um, uh, Bluetooth disconnected. This is what we're facing now, and I think this is a Bluetooth connected. Uh, issue that we're going to see again with the other. Pacifica owned facilities uh, and uh, so we have to be vi vigilant I think as a community to make sure that these other facilities are maintaining their culturally sensitive care. Uh, you've all heard the troubling news that uh, Sakura LA, excuse me, uh, KILA is continuing to accept uh, COVID patients into their wards. So, uh, this is a continuing uh, concern, of course, for uh, many in the Japanese American community. Um, so uh, please uh, stand with us. Please remember uh, SB 279. Also, there's a petition here, as was mentioned earlier, which is going to be uh, delivered to, uh, hopefully, uh, the, the CEO of Pacifica. Uh, demanding that uh, we have uh, uh, continued care of our Japanese American seniors at these facilities. So uh, we ask for your support uh, on this uh, setup bill. And also, uh, please come and sign the petition uh, after you're done with, your, uh, done with your dancing. Thank you again for participating with us tonight, and have a pleasant evening. Do it. Thank you. I can clean too. I'm a cleaning girl. 
Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much to the family councils representing Sakura ICF, as well, especially of Dr. Kensaku Nakayama and the members of family council. Thank Bluetooth you so very connected. much for your words. And to remind each and every one of you to sign this petition to Bluetooth stop. pairing. It's okay. I know, it's like, it's like that technology, Taiji. So yes, but um, to, to sign the petition in support of saving our seniors and to carry through AB 297. So thank you so very much for your attention. Thank you, Dr. Nakayama, Francine and Carrie, please send our thanks to our loved ones there. And thank you for your bravery in standing up for accessible, culturally sensitive services for our bachans and jichans, abuelas y abuelos, and our grandparents all. You honor all of us by exemplifying the spirit and the legacy left by the original founders of Cato. Thank you so very much and all the former and current residents of Sakura ICF and their family members. It is now my honor to introduce our next distinguished guest. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> excuse me. Ah, no, 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 no. Are we going to introduce? So I will reintroduce you, David. Okay. I will reintroduce David Monkawa, co-president of Save Our Seniors Network, to introduce our next distinguished speaker and our guest. Please welcome back David Monkawa. Thank you, Dan. Um, so you know, I, this our next speaker, I always wanted to introduce her, but I never could. And so now I get to finally after all these years. You know, we used to work together. She was my boss, my mentor for quite some time. Um, she is an ally, a friend, uh, whose actions had a profound impact on Little Tokyo. As the president of hotel employees and restaurant employees, Local 11 in the 1990s, she led the effort to gain justice and a decent living wage at the former New Otani Hotel, now known as the Double Tree Hotel right there, uh, through unionization. Largely because of her and Local 11, the majority of Asian, Filipino, and Latinx workers at the largest workplace in Little Tokyo has secure union wages, health care, and some amount of workplace democracy. I had the pleasure to be the assistant to the president and travel to Japan with Maria Elena Durazo and AFL-CIO President John Sweeney at the time in efforts to unionize the Doubletree. Maria Elena, or MED, as she is called by close friends, is the daughter of farm workers, champion of immigrants, a progressive voice in Sacramento, representing Senate District 24, including Boyle Heights, Lincoln Heights, Little Tokyo right here, and downtown LA, Senator Maria Elena Durazo. Let's hear it for Senator Maria Elena Durazo. Thank you so much, David. Um, I miss you. Um, but uh, I, I also want to thank Sister uh, Tamlin for being um, our leader here, hosting this uh, today. Um, and David was very kind, and I'm glad he talked about uh, another struggle that was taking p here, taking place here in Little Tokyo. David introduced me to the Japanese American community when those workers were trying to win what was fair, a wage in which they could support their families, health care, so they didn't have to worry about the day they became ill, a retirement plan. Think about that. Is that so outrageous? Is that so terrible to say those basic things should be provided to the workers of such a, a, a chain of hotels? Well, we didn't think so and neither did they. The struggle went on for many years, many years. But they were supported by this community. Those primarily Latino immigrant workers were supported actively and for many years by the Japanese American community. And the owners of the chain and the owners of the property were Japanese. So think about it. The Japanese American community stood with the Latino workers against the Japanese owned company. Why? 
because they wanted to be on the side of justice. They wanted to be on the side of working families. They wanted to be on the side of a healthy community. And that's why they stood with those workers. And I just want to say, no matter how long it took, and it took years and years, there was a boycott, there were picket lines, there were marches. Uh, we did so many things. We traveled to Japan and marched in Japan. We never gave up. We never gave up. So today, those workers won what they deserve a retirement and health care and good wages and democracy. So I just want to say the struggle now in Boyle Heights for Japanese American seniors is everybody's struggle. It is our struggle. It is my struggle. It is so disappointing to hear in this day and age with so many issues with homelessness, with issues of housing, the crisis in housing, the crisis in healthcare, the COVID-19, well, how it has devastated our community. It is so disappointing and cold-hearted that Pacific Cup Company is trying to evict seniors and residents. From their website, Pacifica says, they brag that they have a proven track record to generate superior returns in their assets. Superior returns. You know what that means? That means maximum profits over people. Maximum profits over the well-being of our seniors. Well, they don't know what they're facing right now because they haven't seen the power of our combined communities where we are connected. So I just want to say, I stand so clearly here with all of our communities. I stand clearly on AB 279. It's a temporary, but it will help and it will stop until we get a real fix. I urge you to call all your senators and tell them vote yes on AB 279. Muchas gracias y si se puede. Thank you so very much, Senator Durazo, their second uh, signature. Thank you very much from the California State Assembly. And she signs it with a flourish as well. Thank you so very much. We appreciate. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Um, again, AB 279. If you don't already know, AB 279 will keep Sakura ICF open until July 1st, 2022 and it will reinstate bicultural and bilingual senior care as a condition of Sakura's ICF's operation. Save Our Seniors Network and Sakura ICF Family Council plan tonight's event in large part to make final and decisive pushes to get our state senators to vote in favor of AB 279 when it is up for the Senate floor later this month. Senator Durazo, you are a shining light and we hope that you will rally our call. We hope we will rally our colleagues to this cause and win the floor together for our seniors. Thank you so very much, Senator Elena Dorazo. So this would be a great time to bring everyone's attention to our AB 279 table. If you haven't already signed the AB 279 support letter, you can do so tonight. Mitchell, Mitchell Matsumura, if you don't, Subscribe to his Facebook page, Sansei Legacy, 5,000 members. He just invited me to join. Um, if you could raise your hand, Mitchell is there getting signatures for the AB 279 uh, table right over there. SOS has been building a people-powered grassroots campaign these past several months to lobby our state legislators to pass AB 279. In addition to signing the letter petition, please make sure to also sign an AB 279 support letter. On that note, we'd like to recognize the co-authors, Assemblyman Al Murasuchi of Assembly District 66, as well as Assembly Member Miguel Santiago of uh, District 53, who could not be here tonight, but we'd like to give them a round of applause for their authorship, for their forethought, for their diligence, for their patience, for their hard work in passing AB 279. Thank you so very much, Assemblymen Muratsuchi and Santiago. But our next speaker now, oh boy, we should be dancing in the streets in about a week 
uh, the, during the Nisei Week Festival, led by Francis, <laughs> Francis uh, Hashimoto, who owned Mikawa Yap. And Obon, we usually celebrate the ones who passed on, and we sadly said goodbye to Mikawaya this year. Our next speaker was a dear, dear friend of our Francis, and she was also the first woman of color to represent the 9th District of Los Angeles City Council from 2001 to 2013, and was the president pro tempore of that city council. During this time, she represented our little Tokyo community and danced in the streets alongside us, where she actively was involved in representing and supporting our family-owned businesses and our beloved seniors. For the following 13 years, she was the general manager of the LA Economic and Workforce Development Department for this great city of Los Angeles. And it is an honor to have her here today. Even though we can't dance together in the streets, we'll dance together in circle right now to give homage to our seniors of Sakura ICF and SOS in Little Tokyo. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for our former council member, Jen Perry. That's okay, that's okay. Um, I'm, I'm, she's my favorite celebrity. So um, whenever I see her, I, I just have to, you know, have that moment between us. So thank you. And say hello to your mother. All right, thank you, thank you. Um, so I'm happy to be here and I was so glad, thank you, so glad that uh, Nadine called uh, to invite me this evening. And yes, I did represent Little Tokyo from 2001 to 2013. But I'm not here just because I was a former councilwoman. I'm here because I love Little Tokyo. And I have loved Little Tokyo for a very, very long time. When I was in college, I would shop with my friend whose mother had been in Poston. And they lived in Arizona. And they couldn't get certain condiments back in Arizona. And we would go shopping every week to send the food back to her bachan so that they could have the, the types of condiments and spices that they wanted to have. So. Little Tokyo has meant a great deal to me. I've had many relationships with people that have gone on, and I have danced in many yes. Obon and yes. uh, Nisei yes. week. And I can't say that I was good, but I was, I was, no, it was okay. I was okay. And then Francis Hashimoto was a former uh, Nisei week uh, court member, queen, right? Is queen? I don't know. President. President. Okay, but she was on the court too. And, uh, but the, the person I loved dancing behind the most was Rodney Kagiyama, who was absolutely a little monster, and he always threw me off. But, uh, you know, I, I, I love dancing behind him and going by Anzen and seeing Grandpa Maihara and, uh, you know, always waving to Rose Ochi, all of whom have gone before us. And so that's why Obona is so important. But what's most important is to protect our seniors, because seniors, the seniors is what distinguishes Little Tokyo from other communities. The, the, the protection of elders, the provision of housing, the social services, uh, the, the institutions that are very well organized to support seniors, it has to continue, it has to remain, it has to grow, because people are living longer. And we have to take care of them and support them and their families so that they can live their lives as seniors in peace and stability. So I'm happy to sign uh, the petition tonight and to support the community in saving our seniors. And yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll practice my dance steps so that uh, you know, we can do a few together, okay? So it's so wonderful to see all of you and uh, keep your mask on. Thank you. Jan Perry is a lefty. I did not know that. Oh my gosh. No, I'm Ambi. I'm Ambi. I know. <laughs> but thank you so very much, council member and just great queen of Los Angeles, Jan Perry. Thank you so very much for supporting Save Our Seniors. And moving right along, we have a very special uh, delegation of clergy who will be introduced by SOS member, Reverend Ray Fukumoto. Reverend Ray, where are you? Ah, gumen ne? You didn't get any, any sign. Actually, ladies and gentlemen, can we just all say hello to everybody? And I like to do it in the Hawaiian word that everybody knows. That means hello, goodbye, I love you. Can we all say aloha at the count of three? 
One, two, three. Aloha. Thank you so very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Reverend Ray Fukumoto. Thank you very much. Can you excuse me for about two minutes? Can you cover me for two minutes? Oh, yeah, they want me to be over there. Oh, you want to take a picture? Oh, go Ming. Go Ming. No, 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 no. It's okay. So everybody, does everybody know Ubon Nancy? I can go through a really... Everybody should know this one. It is... Uh, Tsukina deta deta Tsukina. It's okay, Reverend Roy. It's okay. We're going to clean the microphone again, ne? Because I was, I, I, you know, what the hell keep the night? You know, can I get all the uh, people in, in the Interfaith Network? There's Mike Songson over there, Jim Wong, Reverend Ken Nagata, Reverend Washington. You know, thank you very much for attending today. Uh, I'm going to kind of chit chat until they get all up here and then I'll really start. Okay, right on. Okay, first, again, thank you for coming to today. Uh, we have the Interfaith Religious Network and uh, unfortunately some of the people that committed were not able to make it. Uh, I'm going to start with uh, Reverend Ken Nagata, he's from Mishiro Kose Kai, and he brought Tim Wong, who is the uh, youth director, and Mike Sungson, who is a board member. And Mike Sungson is also a poet, and he'll be reading today later on. On this side, we have we have Reverend, and I'm not going to, yeah, Ezioku, Iz Washington, uh, and he's with the Weekend Foundation. And to start this off, we're going to have Reverend Ken start. Hello, everyone. I'm very happy to be here. I'm basically representing our minister, Reverend Hosoyama. He's in Japan right now. And I'm also the board chair. Uh, we are located in Boyle Heights, about five minutes from here. It used to be the old Higashi Honganji, and it was on sale in 1976, and we bought it, and then we uh, renovated it in 1977, we officially opened Rishoko Sekai of Los Angeles. And at that time, all of our members, Japanese American members, were in their 30s, but now they are seniors, and we've had like three or four of our uh, seniors uh, be part of the Kato home. In fact, our youth group visited the Kato home in uh, for, uh, Boyle Avenue, and we um, interfaced with some of the uh, grandmas and Ujichan Obachans, and they really enjoyed the company of the young youth um, entertaining them. So we are uh, very happy that we had the opportunity to do that. A uh, couple of our senior members have been part of Kato Homo and then they went to the uh, care facility hospital and later they passed on but we've had connection through the uh, Kato Homo and we know a lot about Fred Wada who's been instrumental in working towards creating the uh, Kato Homo. Uh, in fact, he visited our church once or twice and we're very happy that we had the opportunity to interface such a great man who has worked so hard to, for the benefit of the senior citizens. Um, we will continue to, and I hope we can support uh, the, the work of all of you working so hard to support and to save uh, the dire uh, needs of our senior citizens. I certainly hope we can continue to participate from our Boyle Heights um, facility in uh, at Mott and First Street. 
Thank you very much. Being an old. Be 76, I got happy. You have to have speed, all right? I have two things to say. Power to the people. Can I hear power to the people? You are the people. You have the power. We are empowered to speak up and stand up for culture. Our elders, the black backbone of any culture, has to be protected. Stood for it and fought for it. That's why everybody's here. In the diasporic way, it's called Mbutu. And that's a South African term meaning, I see your spirit, I understand your spirit. So Ubuntu means we all one spirit, one body, one mind. I've been no revolutionary back in the 60s, my brothers, power to the people. You are the people, you got the power, remember that. Take that every day. Power to yourself, power to the divine. Because without that, we're non-existent. In relationships we have, very important. We're all brothers and sisters under skin. We're together, one people, one body, one mind. So our purpose here today is to celebrate and recognize culture and defending our elders. Whatever it's gonna take, then you're obligated to take that path. Because injustice to one is injustice to all. So I, 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 I'm going to humble the discourse. They want to keep it short, so have a long winded person. But all again, I want to hear all power to the people. All power to the people. One more time. All power. All power. Thank you. And I will say Chukubuzegi and Atamasan, both in Ghanaian and also Nigerian. And I'll say Amanesikolo and Ethiopian. Hotel. You know, first I'd like to thank uh, you, Tamlin. Oh, it's got a sum of this. First, I would like to thank everyone that made today's Concha Obon 2 possible, from the SOS committee, our supporters and sponsors, and to the Japanese American National Museum, without which this gathering would not have been possible. Uh, many thanks. Today we are here for Kancha Obon 2, Dance for Our Seniors. Although Obon is a Buddhist holiday, in Japan it is celebrated by most as a commemoration of the passing of family, friends, and loved ones from the previous year to now. And it is now in that spirit that we're here today to express our deepest condolences and remembrances for our 125 Japanese American elderly lives lost and our gratitude to the staff who made their last moments as comfortable as possible. The hope is that even as we have opened our eyes to the truths and realities that we are facing in this crisis, and as we stand in solidarity with the residents, we hope others will see us for who we are. That is, we are no more than regular folks who have been pushed to, the, to action by the injustices of unwarranted deaths. Lack of compassion for the staff loyal to our resident seniors and the continued lives fueled by greed. So as we gather here today, we are not here to whine, to express the unfairness of the actions of greed. Rather, we are here to commemorate the 125 lives lost, the 11 workers who have shown their loyalty to our seniors, and to celebrate that there are still seniors remaining in Sakura ICF. So even as we celebrate the living, remaining seniors and commemorate those no longer here, we want to revive our energies with new beginnings, starting with the dance to the future, where our remaining Nikkei seniors are safe in the promised environment of familiar language, culture, and food that the original Cato provided with its long tradition of culturally sensitive elderly care. The true definition of Obon is simply a gathering of joy. And here today to express our hope for the future and gratitude from the past to a mindful present 
We are here to show our solidarity just as regular folks who cannot tolerate injustice. So with that in mind, gather your hoppies and fans, just like Camelon said, or come as you are. And when the time comes to dance shortly, please let's show our solidarity and dance. Dance, dance, dance. Thank you very much. And back to you, Camelon. Thank you. Thank you, Reverend Fukumoto. Thank you, Reverend Ken Nagata. Thank you, Reverend C.E. Washington. Thank you, Tim Wong, and thank you, Mike Soxon, for representing our religious clergy in the great city of LA. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your assistance. Thank you for your words of inspiration and for reminding us that we're all in this together. And power to the people. Thank you for reminding us. It's simple. Power to the people. We be the people. So thank you so very much. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to now ask Susie Watanabe to join me on stage to present a certificate from the city of Los Angeles with is a uh, Save Our Seniors member, Dr. Nadine Diaz. Susie? from Sakura ICF and from C uh, Save Our Seniors Network, please gather to stand alongside the great... Ah! I wouldn't need that for you to say your favorite Yeah. Hello there. Okay. Let me put my glasses on because I can't see. I'm middle-aged too. I'm a baby boomer. Good evening. My name is Nadine Mamoyo Diaz, and I want to remind everyone, 76 years ago, the world woke up and witnessed the carnage and the destruction of the nuclear bomb that destroyed Hiroshima. And today is that day, the next day, and killed over 100,000 people. And to this day, the nuclear fall out continues to rage our people. As the Reverend Fukumoto mentioned, 125 families have already passed. And what I'm here to do today is to provide and give a certificate SOS and Sakura ICF Family Council would like to join with Council Member De Leon, who is not with us today, to acknowledge the Quilts from the Heart volunteers for their service to the community. Susie Watanabe will accept the certificate on behalf of Nina Flores, Sharon Sawa, Abby Harmon, Phyllis Tanisaki and Harriet Shioji, who were unable to be present today. They're here. The certificate reads, on behalf of the city of Los Angeles, the Council District 14, I would like to recognize you for your hard work and generous spirit as a volunteer for the Quilts from the Heart that has been sewing and distributing quilted blankets to hundreds of adults and children in need in underserved populations in Los Angeles and to victims of abuse and natural disasters for the past 17 years, sewing and distributing hundreds of masks from frontline workers in hospitals, community organizations, and the LAPD during the pandemic is especially commendable. The help provided to the SOS network at the Concha Obon 2 so that the group can effectively advocate for our seniors is valuable and appreciated. Signed, Councilman Kevin DeLeon. Thank you. When we're um, announcing it, I just uh, thank you.
thank you, um, SOS, and I just want to thank my team here that came together on such short notice to put these copy codes together. And uh, thank you to the SOS volunteers also that just bravely uh, pitched in. Eileen, Kathy, Laura, Shigit, and actually David Montalvo learned how to sew oh, to wow. help put this get this done. Mario, did you take a picture of all the quilts from the art ladies? Or do we need to assemble them? Because it's a very special occasion that they receive. Ah, Dr. Diaz? The families would like to take a photograph with Senator Maria Durazo and former Councilwoman Jan Perry, yes. similar to our beautiful Mayor Eric Garcetti. If the families could stand next to our representatives who spoke so well, would be very appreciative. Dr. Diaz, you have to join them as well. So all the fam, so, so, uh, okay. The families from Quilts from the Heart and the sewers and the magic quilters, please assemble on the stairs directly to your right, to my left where I'm pointing. So we could take a picture, and I believe the members of our clergy, Dr. Fukumoto, Dr. Washington, uh, Reverend Washington, Reverend Nakata, Tim Wong, uh, Mr. Songson. All right. Thank you so very much for your tireless efforts in sewing all the quilts and all the masks for those who need it. We're getting this. Uh, we're getting through this together because of efforts of persons like you. Thank you so very much, Mario Reyes, our esteemed photographer of the Rapu Shimpo's assembly. Gun. <laughs> Is everybody ready to dance? Does everybody remember how to do obon odori? I think we're going to assemble for a picture and then I'm going to introduce to you the two poets that are our next speakers who have prepared original pieces just for Kansha Obon 2. And if anybody wants to take photographs with the certificate receivers from Quilts from the Heart, please, welcome, uh, please feel free to do so. You're welcome to do so. But in the meantime, if you know anything about the Los Angeles It's okay. You have likely heard his name. Ma Mike Soxon, AKA Mike the Poet, is a third generation Southern Californian. A poet, professor, journalist, historian, and tour guide. His latest book, Letters to My City, was published by Writ Large Press, and he has written for KCET over the last nine years. In December 2015, his KCET -E essay about the first Kato sale spotlighted the early history of the Japanese Hospital of Los Angeles and how it has transitioned into Kato. Mike is a member of the Risho Kosei Kai Buddhist Church in Boyle Heights, where his wife Emmy works, and he believes in the power to the people and stands in solidarity at any means necessary with Save Our Seniors. And with Mike, we are bringing back on stage his longtime friend and collaborator, Alan Arnold Gamalinda Aquino. Alan is a poet and professor of Asian American Studies at Cal State Northridge. After graduating from CSUN and earning his master's in Asian American Studies from UCLA. I got it in there. <laughs> Professor Aquino embarked on a 20 plus year career as a community organizer, lecturer at CSUN, UCLA, and Loyola Mar Marymount University. Alan is the former president of the Filipino American National Historic Society, Los Angeles chapter, and is founding member of the Larry Leon Foundation through education. His scholarship upon, focuses upon Asian Pacific American history, media, contemporary issues, pop culture, and literary arts. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give up. What's up, Little Tokyo? 
to Mike Soxon and Alan Gamalinda Aquino. I love the Japanese American community and this is my poem, Miso Soup for the Soul. We will not stop dancing. Power to the people. I'm alive at Third and Boyle. I'm alive at Nishi Haganji. I'm alive at Otomasan. I'm alive at the Japanese American National Museum. I'm alive at Suhiro. I'm alive at Risho Kosakai. I'm alive at First and Central. This is that very corner in 1942. I'm alive at the Marikai Market. I'm alive in Montebello. I'm alive in Mary No. I am alive at Cairo. Let's talk about miso soup for the soul. Comfort food, Sunday dinners together at the Sakura ICF. And being together in harmony, we call upon the ancestors and become one with them by Oban dancing. Dear Pacifica, I checked out your website. Let's talk about your philosophy. It states that you respect the concerns of everyone your development affects. And that you preserve and protect the natural environment while improving the community's quality of life. Is evicting senior citizens a part of this philosophy? How do you sleep at night? Let's talk about returns. Your site notes that you strive for the greatest returns to the company and investors. Go ahead and admit it, it's about that cheddar. Cash money, if you really cared about the seniors, you would have kept up the quality of Japanese food. And what about turning off the hot water? Is that how you treat your grandma? Dear Pacifica, let's talk about history. Cairo was originally the Japanese hospital of Los Angeles on East First and Fickett before it moved to the former Japanese home of the age. The same place was once the home of Andrew Boyle, the father of Boyle Heights. The Lopez family had a winery there in the 1830s. Pacifica, you were disrespecting a legacy and trampling on a community. In other words, Columbusing. And you know what they did? They pulled that Columbus statue out of Grand Park. How does this reconcile with your philosophy? Dear Cairo Board, let's talk about legacy. For over 50 years, you were honored and held in high esteem for preserving the dignity of Japanese American seniors. Let's talk about compassion, known for compassionate care, culturally sensitive cuisine. Let's talk about promises. You kept promises and created tradition with so much integrity that countless families donated their money and some even left their houses and their entire estates. What have you done with these assets? What have you done with these assets? Let's talk about faith. The community believed in you and you better believe they know all of your names. Right? Dear Carol Boy, let's talk about 22,000 people. I'm sure you already know 22,000 citizens have signed a petition demanding that Cairo spend the money on replacing the nursing home you sold to Pacifica. Let's talk about responsibility. You have a responsibility after dozens of families have donated millions of dollars to keep Cairo going. Is this how you want to be remembered? There are many that remember on a hillside over the freeway, 325 South Boyle's sacred space provided a place where J.A. elderly could live out their final days gracefully. And this brings us back to this twilight evening here in Los Angeles where our ancestors and generations before made sacrifices so that we could all stand here tonight. Let's talk about miso soup for the soul. Respect and dignity are hallmarks of a Japanese, Ameri of Japanese American culture. Let's talk about paying honor to our elders and our ancestors as we Oban dance for our seniors. When we dance, we transcend space and time, reconnecting with our ancestors. We remember their stories and carry their spirits, their breath of memory. Together we stand in solidarity. We remember everything and we will not stop dancing. Tonight, I am honored to recite the poem in honor of my grandmother. Uh, her name was Julita Gamalinda. She was born in the Philippines in 1905. She passed in the year 1993 uh, during the very same semester that I decided to pursue a career in uh, Asian American studies and uh, to continue studying um, our collective histories and struggles. And uh, I'm quite honored to be here with you all today. The poem is written in three parts in uh, Filipino or Tagalog, as well as English language translation. And this poem is entitled Tatlong Handok Sa Hulita, or Three Postcards for Lola. Noong sa buhay, ikaw ay punong guro at makata, nanay ng nanay ko. Sa wakas, magadakada mula nang umalis ka, 
Nahanap kayo ulit, kaya nahanap ang kululuwa ko. Kapilang sa mga lihim, sa pagitan ng linya ng maliwanag mong mukha. In life, you were a professor and poet, mother of my mother. At last, decades since your departure, I find you again, and thus, I find my own soul among the secrets between the lines of your luminous face. Ang kamay mo ang nakahawak sa kamay ko, nakakaliw. Ang araw ay nagsasimula sa mga kwento at pilalakad sa parke. Ang mundo sa mata ko ay malawak at esmeralda. Ang mahal mo ay pagiging verde ng lahat. Ang damit ni San Jose pinagay sa iyo sa panaginip. Ang gulay sa harden mo ang mga 7-up, tabi ng aming tapsilog. Ang mga kanta ng tarlak palaging nasa iyong puso. Pilang napunta kami sa maraming mga maliliwanag sa siyudad. Your hand holds mine warmly. Evanston days begin with stories and walks in the park. The world to my child eyes is vast and emerald. How you love the greenness of things. The finery St. Joseph in a dream bequeaths you. Your vegetable garden, our seven up cans during lunchtime. The songs of Tarlah ever in your heart as we come upon many bright skylines. Sa kaunting salita, Alam ko ang simoy ng hangin, ang daan nito, ang ritmo nito. Hindi ito ay taghoy o paglalakbay. Kabilang sa lahat ng bagay na dapat gawin, ang mundo nararamdaman mas verde, mas simple tuwing dumadaan ako narito. With so few words, I know the nature of the wind, I know the nature of the breeze, I know its way and its rhythm. This is neither a lamentation nor a travelogue. Amidst everything that I must carry on, this world feels greener and simpler every time I move through it. Thank you very much indeed. Ah, after two young, uh, two tall men, I have a short, you have a, another short girl here. Uh, maraming salamat po, Professor Aquino. Thank you so very much, Mark Salson, for your words. It's the words that we have that are able to, uh, we are able to communicate with each other. And the masters of the poets, these words that you put together reflect how we feel here in Little Tokyo, in Boyle Heights and across our great city of Los Angeles. Thank you so very much for those words and for sharing those feelings so artistically put together. There is a follow-up essay to uh, your essay, Mike, in the 2015 KCET -E article, PBS, local Los Angeles and Orange County, that will soon be published. And folks, please track down this important essay documenting the Save Our Seniors campaign when it is available. Do you have any more information about that, Mike? Next week. Next week? Next week. So if we pop on to KCET, oh, on Thursday, we'll find the Save Our Seniors article that's written by you, Mike Thompson. Thank you so very much for your words again yeah. and speaking to our cause. Thank you. And ladies and gentlemen, we are here in Little Tokyo, the gathering of Japanese and Japanese American citizens are all across our great city of Los Angeles. But we are highly representing the San Fernando Valley with our next speaker. She currently is the president of the San Fernando Valley Japanese American Citizens League and is the governor of the JCL Pacific Southwest District Council that oversees Southern and Central California, Nevada, Arizona, and New Mexico regions. Founded in 1929, the Japanese American Citizens League, or JCL, is the oldest and largest Asian American civil rights organization in the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome fellow Valley Girl, Nancy Takayama! Yes, I am a Valley Girl. Yeah. <laughs> I'm oh proud of it. Um, Thank you, thank you. Uh, because of the time constraints, you can see I had something really written, but I'm not going to let... Do uh, you need light? No, because I'm only going to read half of this. I know you're going, yay! But, um, but the program has gone a little long, and part of my message was, I actually had the same message as our first poet had, except my message is, is not as 
uh, beautiful, beautifully read. It's yet, but it still has to do with uh, our, our cultures and our our community. So I'm going to read portions of it and then just the end part. Lucky for you guys. <laughs> so from the JACL. Washington, D.C. office. The fight against gentrification is happening across the country, and we are in danger of losing our cultural communities in the name of economic development. JCL National joins you in your fight to save the residents from a dangerous eviction during the rise in cases of the Delta Strait, and wish to thank everyone who has come out to support our seniors and in remembering those who have passed from the COVID pandemic. Signed, David Inouye, JACL Executive Director, and Jeffrey Moy, JACL National President. So they are out there supporting you guys. Uh, so I'm gonna actually just kind of skip down, and if you can remember what our first poet was talking about, culture and uh, community. And, um, This culturally sensitive Japanese community is so important for all of us, and it's something that we all were learn from our jichans and our bachans, and uh, we are like a village. We will support each other. And I believe my last two statements is about what Pacifica is doing. Pacifica has chosen to separate Pacifica, you have chosen to separate yourself from this community. You have chosen to divide Sakota Gardens community and attempted to build a separate community without a culture. Shame on you. Where were you during the last five years? Apparently not listening to the residents and family about culture and community. Otherwise, you wouldn't be dividing this community and spending money to make more money. Shame on you, Pacifica. Thanks. As Nancy Takayama is finishing signing, uh, putting her signature on the petition, I just want to put a reminder to you to come up and sign the petition to support AB 279 so we can have our seniors still housed at Sakura ICF until July 1st of next year, 2022 and to also put forth a petition to uh, the owners of Pacifica companies to recognize the damage and the harm that they are eliciting on our, that they're uh, putting on our families, especially our seniors uh, who are residents over there at KI Los Angeles, as well as KI South Bay and Sakura ICF. Please, we need your support in showing us that we have uh, the, the uplifting and uh, Is that all right? All right. And we're going to finish speaking, but I want to just uh, thank you, each and every one of you for attending Kancha Obon 2 uh, and supporting Save Our Seniors and Sakura ICF. And we want to extend our heartfelt appreciation to um, all our speakers today, especially Re uh, Mayor Eric Garcetti, uh, Senator Mary Maria Elena Durazo, Assemblyman Al Murtsuchi, Assemblyman Miguel Santiago, who could not be here, but Sarapia Kim, are you still here? Representing Council, uh, representing Assembly District 53. Sarapia Kim, are you here? We just wanted to give a shout out to your presence for coming down here, representing Miguel Santiago's office. Thank you, Sarapia. And Council Member Kevin De Leon, to all our speakers, a big thank you to our performers and poets as well. We celebrate in our spirit of joy together and gratitude reverberates as we clear this dance floor. So we're all gonna need a little bit of help to clear those dance chairs. So we're gonna um, dance in circle to fight for our seniors and to recognize the legacy and the histories that we come from. See you this Friday, August 13th 
at Sakura ICF at 6 p.m. when we deliver the signed petition. So again, remind you to sign the petition over there with Mitchell supporting AB 279, signing the petition to stop Pacifica Network companies from um, destroying Sakura ICF. And ladies and gentlemen, we're going to dance in a few minutes. Thank you so very much for your patience. And let's get up and dance to the light of the moon in Little Tokyo. You know, all, all we have to do really is just don't put the chairs away. Put them right against the steps, facing in, you know, facing toward the center. That's all it is. You don't have to put them away. It's something to sit on too. And we are not going to be dancing in a circle. It's whatever the shape is. Uh, you're going to see some of the people that are dancing as teachers. They will be wearing a teal-colored hoppy. Um, so with great joy, I'd like to introduce our own dance teachers. You have Elaine Fukumoto, who is going to be leading. Uh, you have uh, you have James Harada, who is helping. Bev Toyami, Toyama, Toru Nagao, and okay, all right. Joy Tomita. <laughs> Yes. Thank you. Enjoy. Okay. So, once you do that, if I can get Elaine over here and get all set up, then yes. So you know the chairs can be put on against the wall too. It doesn't have to be against the. What I'd like everybody to do is start getting around in a in a shape that pretty much follows the space that's available. Please space yourself out. We're not going to have instructions. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to basically just dance. So there's a lot of people that know the dances already, so all I can say is follow the leader. We don't care if you don't know how to do the dance. You're come in, come in, come in. Are you okay? Yep. Thanks. The only advice I have is just keep up with the pace and watch your arms and don't hit anybody, and you'll be fine. And our tradition is just come and dance as you are. Whenever you're ready. Can we get everybody to kind of like get in the start, get in a position? Start lining up to the perimeter of the space. Leave the space open. Those people that are in the center, could you go out through the perimeter? People that are standing inside, please move to the outside. I certainly would like to have everybody dance. Yeah, we are having Eugene Daiko will be playing to the rhythm of the of the dances. So, whenever Elaine is ready, we can start. She will be giving cues, but there's no instruction, sorry. Or she will give verbal type of instructions. Okay, we're going to start. Okay, How many everybody of you get are ready. ready? Oh, let, let me tell the, the, the sequence of the dances. Okay. The sequence of the dances, can you tell them? Pardon me? The sequence of the dances. The first dance. First dance. Kyushu Tangomushi. Everyone knows Tangomushi. The coal miners dance. Are you ready to do Tangomushi? Yes. Okay. Let's hit it. I don't know how to do that.
Oh, I'm so sorry. Music is gone. We're done. No problem. Oh, that's it. I can do that. Yeah. Yeah.
but it's a favorite, especially amongst the kids. This is Pokemon on the. You all know what Pokemon are, right? So again, we're going to face inside, and we're ready to start.
If you have a fan, that would be good.
Uh, each test of each, one plus one.
And have your attention, please. You know, Tokyo party goers, the next dance is the last dance. Next dance is the last dance. So please take advantage of it and get it in tonight so you won't be ripped off. Please remember this though. Go and sign the petition. Please sign the petition, okay? We'll see you August 13th, Friday, Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th. We'll visit Sakura ICF on Boyle Avenue, okay? 6 p.m., 6 p.m. Remember. The last dance is Bon Odori Uta. It's a very uh, meaningful dance that helps for us to remember those who have passed and remember that we are fighting to keep the ICF open as long as possible. So, last dance, Bon Odori Uta. Reminder after the dance, please again sign the petition. We're trying to deliver a message to Pacifica to uh, give the residents, remaining ICF residents, some options to keep them safe. And also, please, the SOS topicos, these are for the event. We hope to reuse them, so please return them. But uh, thanks everybody for dancing with our seniors, and here we go. Last song, let's do it with spirit. Facing counterclockwise. Mm -hmm. 